Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology once again. And sometime back, somebody told me that two years back, you had a playlist, personal stories. And there were four videos in the playlist. Let me see which uh, videos are, oops, I don't see them. Yeah, one of the videos was uh, uh, in Jagannath Puri when I had gone. There was a stunning miracle. And then also another video was uh, from Tanjavur, all right? So it's there in this playlist. So you can watch it. It's uh, really, very amazing. Well, uh, why am I making these uh, videos? Not because to show that there are some supernatural things that, ha that had happened, but I, wa I want to show each and every one that uh, God's hand or leg or brain <laughs> plays out in our life in many different ways, in ways beyond that we can imagine. One similar instance I would like to uh, share. This is uh, in the uh, year 2012. This is December 2012, right? So 2012 was a very inspiring year for me in terms of my spiritual life, especially uh, I had a lot of uh, spiritual realizations, a lot of knowledge. Most of the things that I have spoken in Exotic Astrology have been from this year. And it has been really uh, very enriching to uh, read all the, uh, most of the primary scriptures like the Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. But there's something very interesting that I would like to share today. Uh, this is somewhere in uh, Maharashtra, India. <laughs> uh, this, uh, this is a place uh, where uh, you have the Pune Satara toll, toll gate. All right. So Pune and Satara are two cities uh, in Maharashtra, India, which is a state in uh, Western India for the Westerners. And now uh, there, uh, I had gone with my uh, god brothers, uh, my senior god brothers, and my equals uh, also, and some of uh, my juniors also, uh, to distribute some uh, spiritual literature. And uh, yeah, Pune Satara Toll Tollgate. Uh, that that's a place where you know the government collects uh, toll uh, for the highway from the people who keep. Uh, coming or going, I guess, or both ways, uh, from Pune to Satara and uh, Satara to Pune. So then uh, that what happens uh, is because the uh, gate, the, there are many gates there, of course, uh, multiple lines, because it's a multi, uh, it's like a multi-lane highway, like most of the highways. And uh, there, uh, the thing is, the lines are so long that you can actually go and um, yeah, there are like people selling so many things there. So it's like, there's this post here and then the car is waiting and they're paying the toll. And yeah, there are like 20 cars or 10 cars at the least behind in that lane. And like this, there are like four or five lanes, you know, on the incoming and the outgoing side. <laughs> I don't remember exactly how many, but it was minimum four or maybe more than that. You can let me know if you're from Maharashtra, how many, lanes are there, right? Uh, but something very interesting happened in December. I had also gone with my god brothers uh, and it was going on very good. Uh, but suddenly uh, uh, I encountered a person. He, he was very handsome. He was young, almost of my age that time. He was, uh, and then he asked me, hey, what is this? So we had gone to uh, distribute Bhagavad Gita's, right? So we used to charge uh, 100 rupees uh, for that, uh, for the Bhagavad Gita that we would distribute. So when we went there, uh, we would, uh, whenever a car would come and uh, wait in the toll uh, gate in that lane, we would have a lot of time because there are like eight, 10 cars in front of you. And yeah, we can just go and, uh, Put the Bhagavad Gita inside the, uh, if the person opens the, their uh, glass, we can just put it inside and um, then we can say that this is a Bhagavad Gita, this was spoken by Lord Krishna to Arjuna 5000 years back roughly and we can uh, explain them and enlighten them about the message of the Bhagavad Gita. 
and we were doing that and it was going usual we did this for 3 to 4 days uh, we did this in many parts of india but uh, this was one special uh, instance which happened in uh, december in that toll gate one day what happened it was this young handsome man he came he was in a big uh, sedan and he came and he asked me what is this all about right and therefore i told him that uh, my dear sir this is the bhagavad gita please have a look at it and he said what what do you mean bhagavad gita <laughs> i said this is bhagavad gita which is the song of god it's like god is singing a song to your ears you can hear it you can see it you can relish it you can understand this will give you spiritual elevation then he told me well i have my quran because i am a muslim so i have my own holy book religious book so i am not going to take your religious book that's not my cup of tea he very respectfully he said i'm sorry i will not take it but could you please explain why what is there in this book and why are you selling this then i said uh, well we are not exactly selling this 100 rupees that we are charging this is like the cost for printing this book so he was like oh yeah yeah okay okay no problem uh, but what is there inside this book and then i said um, this book tells you how to be happy always irrespective of your material circumstances and then he was uh, he seemed to be quite eager and by god's grace somehow the line which keeps moving one by one the next car keeps crossing the toll gate somehow there was a problem in that lane and the line was not moving so people were getting irritated and that lane it was like a full jam so when i saw the lane jam packed i was very happy <laughs> i thought and yes i can at least speak some knowledge of the gita to him because otherwise if the cars would move very fast then we would just say some superficial things right but if the person would stay there for four or five minutes we could speak for long and then i told him that this book bhagavad gita is a divine book because this talks about the soul this talks about no uh, things which uh, no no other book talks about in this uh, universe okay this book will tell you how to go beyond matter that you always see how to go beyond this this book will tell you that this book will tell you how should you live a life and also how should you leave should i repeat this book will tell you how should you live and how should you leave this world and then he asked me that oh but this is a hindu book you know why should i study it you know what's there in it for me and again he asked me and i also want to know why are you uh, giving this book for 100 rupees rather <laughs> so then i said um although you are from a different religion you are inspired by a different uh, holy book great nothing wrong with it but you could also take this book and you could also read even though you uh, may not read this as a religious book you could read this as an intellectual book it is filled with so many life changing insights where the author of this book the person i said not god lord krishna is uh, speaking uh, this person called krishna he is enlightening his disciple arjuna now um, about how to how to live a good life how to control your senses and at the same time be good do good and uh, go beyond this world and i had a conversation with him and he really liked and then he asked for the third time why are you giving this i said because this book has uh, impacted me in such a positive way it has changed my life totally <laughs> i uh, used to eat a lot of meat till the year 2010 then after going to chennai i left eating meat permanently and by god's grace uh, i have been uh, very easily able to stay away from it and all uh, other bad habits like intoxication since uh, 2010 for almost 11 years 
yeah around uh, december 2010 i had left eating meat and then um, yeah it's been almost uh, 11 years or rather 10 and a half years it's going to be 11 years now in december so i and then i said you know um, i used to watch so many movies this that you know and then i started uh, reading uh, other spiritual books meeting uh, spiritually elevated personalities all this during that toll gate jam you know it was like this toll gate was not ready to move and then unfortunately the toll gate started moving i mean the car started moving and i started you know kind of uh, rushing and i said uh, yeah and then but he already said he will not take this book and then i was like of course i was a bit disappointed but then i thought okay no problem at least i could speak some uh, knowledge of the bhagavad gita Krishna talks about yoga here and so many things I spoke from the Bhagavad Gita. And, and then uh, I went to a point where the next uh, car that would leave the toll uh, gate would be, his, would be this car. So I kind of was about to see him off. So then I asked him, uh, but anyways, uh, nonetheless, it was very good talking to you. Um, uh, what is your name by the way I asked him so he asked my name and then I asked what is your name by the way he said my name is Altaf and uh, I said well uh, Mr. Altaf great talking to you we talked fully in English and um, he seemed to be very intellectual and very knowledgeable about so many other things apart from uh, spiritual topics of course and then he uh, said, uh, yes, so that's it from my side. I will have to now go. And then he took the he took the, that chalan, that slip, and he paid uh, the toll and he went. Right. And then I started uh, talking to the other cars who were waiting in the toll. And then suddenly what happened? And uh, I had this in the back of my mind. I wish this person would have taken the Bhagavad Gita. This would have improved his life so much. Uh, even if you would read this as a non-religious uh, book, you know, even then it would, it would have improved. Uh, but unfortunately, because he was from a different religion, so he did not take it. But then in the back of my mind, I also thought that, yes, the religion which he is practicing is also bona fide. So nothing wrong. But still, I felt if he would have taken, he would have benefited uh, uh, quite a bit uh, from the Bhagavad Gita. But nonetheless, maybe that was not Lord Krishna's desire. So I tried to be detached from the situation and I let go of it. And then I was talking to another uh, bus driver, you know, he was talking in Marathi, you know, that typical Marathi accent in Maharashtra. <laughs> so he was talking and, uh, and then I was talking and then suddenly uh, one of my god brother, he came to me and he said, hey, he just uh, pushed me and he said, there's somebody calling you, you know. Then I said, I asked, who is calling? He said, hey, that Sidan, uh, that one young guy, uh, he's calling you. So then what happened? I uh, saw that uh, this, this guy, Altaf, he had uh, like uh, taken the chalan and he had crossed and he had gone outside, uh, out of the lane. And when he went ahead from the toll gate, he had parked his car and then he came back walking just like some short distance. And then he called me, hey, come here. Uh, and then I was like a bit intimidated <laughs> what happened. <laughs> I thought maybe he didn't like my conversation or something, or maybe he will, you know, say that, you know, you, you were too much pushy. Don't be so much pushy, you know. Uh, I was from a different religion. Why did you force me to take this? All right, uh, I'll sue you or something like that. I, I had a very pessimistic approach that time because uh, it was not nobody had you know stopped their car ahead of the toll gate and called me okay nobody he was he was the first person who did that in the entire those days so I was a bit uh, concerned what happened uh, and then I thought if he says something negative or if he is angry then I will say my mistake I'm sorry I apologize but then I, when I went to him. Uh, he had a big smile in his face. He said, you know what? I'm from a different religion. I have my Quran, which I study. And I'm very happy with it. 
and you have your own scripture you have the bhagavad geet he was still not able to pronounce bhagavad geeta properly he was saying bhagavad geet like this so he said you have your bhagavad geet what you as a young student a bright youth of india you are doing this uh, you, you are uh, you know, g- g- selling this bhagavad gita here without taking any money or without taking any commission you are doing it out of your free will you are doing it selflessly you are doing like a social service and because you are so educated and you are doing this there must be something inside this book there must be something so please give me one copy of the bhagavad gita and then i was so happy i was like wow this is incredible better late than never and then i gave him a bhagavad gita in fact uh, i was thinking inside even if he doesn't pay 100 rupees then i will pay it from my side but let him take this because i really was uh, like because i had talked to this guy for so long so i really wanted that this person take and then uh, i gave him the bhagavad gita and i said yes this is uh, the bhagavad gita for you you can please read it and you can take my number if you have any questions you can call me sometimes he you know took my number and he saved it in his mobile and he was very happy and then he pulled out his wallet and he gave a 500 rupee note and then i was like you know searching for change to give him 400 rupees back and then he said keep the change that's yours <laughs> <laughs> i was like uh, i was overwhelmed i was uh, i i can't explain how jubilant i was i felt that yes this person not only uh, took one bhagavad gita and he also donated uh, 400 rupees with which we could you know give four bhagavad gitas okay so uh, then i told him yes uh, may god bless you and may uh, god always enlighten you with spiritual wisdom and may god always protect you uh, and then he shaked uh, we both uh, shook the hands and then uh, i just said it was great meeting you uh, altaf so and then he said yes i will now proceed so then he sat in his beautiful sedan and he left and then i was like wow. what an incredible experience of course there were many such experiences but this experience was very incredible because i never ever thought that a person would from some another relief from some other religion would also be sometimes inspired to take the bhagavad gita okay of course i am not saying um, here that any religion is superior to the other religion or i am not saying that because i read the bhagavad gita everybody should read okay but what i am trying to tell here is whichever tradition you belong to either you are born in a hindu family or a muslim family or a christian family if you read the scripture which your tradition now recommends under the guidance of your superiors and your gurus and your uh, the sadhus then you will definitely uh, make very good spiritual progress okay so therefore the most important thing that i learned during this interaction is that the most important thing is desire if you really desire if you really want that this person should take the bhagavad gita then as lord krishna says in the bhagavad gita ishwara sarva bhutanam riddeshya arjuna tishthati that i am there in everybody's heart as the parmatma then that parmatma who is also there in everybody's heart will inspire that person to do so because krishna also says in the bhagavad gita matta smritir gyanam apohanam cha from me comes knowledge remembrance and forgetfulness so if lord krishna wants that this person take the bhagavad gita and he listens to what i spoke to arjuna then why will he not take yes so therefore now this video should not be digressed to some religious or political context and nobody should spread hate here against any community if you do that i will unfortunately have to 
hide your comments okay so if you do that then your comments will not be visible anymore so it is an indirect way of blocking someone okay so please do not make it a hindu versus muslim conflict this is nothing to do with geopolitics or india pakistan or uh, congress bjp it has nothing to do with any of this all right take this as a pure spiritual uh, exciting and enriching experience rather than making it into a religious uh, or a political or a social media or a youtube battleground all right so if you do it irrespective of whichever side you are you and your comments will be hidden and you will never your comments will never be visible in exotic astrology for the rest of your life or till the time i am there all right so please do not meet uh, for do not force me to do all this uh, but there are so many people who will do this all right and if you really like this video then please let me know down in the comments uh, if you want me to make more such videos uh, then i will be very happy to make uh, such videos all right so do not spread hate or fear or any comparison between any religion all right don't do that at least don't do that here in exotic astrology whichever religion you are belonging to read that scripture and you will really make progress all right provided the translation and the authorization is bona fide not from anywhere not what anybody says right that's not the way you should read scriptures all right so authorized authentic translation of your scriptures either it is bhagavad gita or quran or the bible or the torah dharmapada the guru granth sahib is very 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 crucial all right thank you very much if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to down below and if you want a consultation please go to my website down below god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him